Hello, my name is Jeff Crittenden. As you may know, the focus of the Foundation is on the future. In all decisions, the Foundation keeps in mind the needs to have resources to support the work of the Church in all of its forms over the long term. One of those resources is people. Dedicated, passionate, competent leadership. How does the Foundation support leadership? Through scholarships, like the Norman MacLeod and Victor Blatherwick Awards, and through bursaries, like the Anna Gent Bill Bursary for Women in Ministry. Thanks to generous donors, we are able to offer grants for learning and leadership events with funds like the Alfred Mitchell and James Robertson Trusts and the William Naylor Trust. Soon, we'll have another avenue through the Alvin Dixon Memorial Bursary and the Post-Secondary Scholarship for Indigenous Education. What is the impact of these awards? Well, first, they provide financial support, but equally important, they give encouragement and validation to the people who receive them. One example of this is the bursary the Foundation awarded to the Reverend Ursula Wick in 2018. It was a relatively small bursary to help cover expenses for the 2018 International Rural Church Association Conference. The Reverend Wig gained knowledge, resources, and the resolve to lift up rural ministry in her community and across Living Skies Regional Council. The impact can also be seen in the letters of thanks that the Foundation has received from several Norman MacLeod scholars. Their letters especially, they specifically note and appreciate the support and the encouragement, the knowledge that others believe in their ministry and that their ministry is making a difference. And the scholars, of course, feel relieved at having some financial assistance to defray the cost of their education. What difference does it make when we have highly trained, confident, competent leadership? Confident, competent leaders envision positive outcomes and to changes and challenges that we all face and, more importantly, they enable those around them to find the best solutions to the challenges that we all face together. They lift others up and they encourage them when they need it. Through constructive dialogue, these leaders ensure we better accomplish the mission work, the faith formation work, and the opportunities that we have for healing. We could not support the development of these leaders without the generous gifts of donors. Please consider how you too can support leaders and the future of our church. Thank you.